big on burning stuff. I've never been that kind of person, you know. That's not my thing. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, the 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 is he a minister or reverend? Imam. Imam. No, no, no. The, oh, Reverend Terry Jones. Reverend, right? Yeah. He called it off. Yeah. I think the, because the. The Secretary of Defense the called him. The, the, said, hey, you know... FBI agents visited with him. Yeah, whatever. But he called it off. Yeah. He called it off. So I said, great. He called it off. So he's going to be a... Um, set an example for the imam. Mm -hmm. Right? Cause, right. Because this, this, this Reverend Terry whatever, yeah, he Reverend pissed off a lot of people. Terry Jones, yeah. He pissed off a lot of people. And he called it off. This imam has pissed off even more people. Yeah. This was his opportunity to say, you know what, in the spirit of Eid, you know, in the spirit of Rosh Hashanah of the new year, right? This man has called off his burning of the Quran. I'm going to call off shoving this, this, you know, mosque down everybody's throat. Yeah. And I'm going to call that off. Yeah. But he did not. And he's, he's intent, he's going to shove this thing down everyone's ass. Yeah. I, I say, you know what? He gets whatever he deserves at this point. Yeah. I think he's a terrible person. Yeah. I think this imam is a terrible person. I think what he's doing to... Uh, he's divisive, is the word, yeah. right? Yeah. And, it, you know, he's going to turn everybody against... Islam, exactly what he claims he's trying to do by right. bridging the interfaiths, he's going to actually end up doing the opposite. He's well, going to turn America completely anti-Islam, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The only people that are going to defend Islam louder and louder and louder as we go will be the liberals. I don't realize, I don't know if you realize how much hypocrisy from the left is coming out right now. Keep going. You want me to keep going? Yeah. I'm watching it. it. It cracks me up. What the, what the liberals come out with day after day. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's hilarious. The, the the logic in it is baffling. Because you know they'll they'll in one second they'll like scream, oh, they don't like the treatment of what's happening with the women being beaten and and, and raped or whatever and killed in Iran. Mm -hmm. And then the next second they'll turn around and go, hey, don't burn those Quran, those Quran books. And I'm like, you didn't just say both things in the same breath, did you? Yeah. Because what is Iran doing? Right. It's not Sharia law, which is all based on the Quran. Right. They're actually following that book, which you just criticized and condemned. You didn't say the Quran is bad. You said killing those women and beating those women and raping those women or whatever they do. They stone them and they beat them and all these things that Islam calls for. You criticized and you condemned that. And then you turned around and criticized and condemned other people who criticize and condemn that same thing. The, the hypocrisy, and it's amazing to me that they don't see it. Because all Iran is doing is following what that book says. Right. I'm not saying to go ahead, I'm not advocating burning the book. But at the same time, I don't start screaming that these women are being beaten mm -hmm. because it's the same condemnation of Islam. The only logic that I can make out of the liberals that makes sense is that they, they expect Islam to be, they tolerate Islam or what they think it is the same way they tolerate Judaism by packaging it in some sort of watered down liberal form, like reform Judaism, right? So they're, they say, you know, Judaism's not so bad, so if somebody wanted to build a reform temple somewhere, they would always stand up for it. Mm -hmm. The problem is when people actually follow the religion as written in the books. And that's why they, they slam us who are from Jews, right. they slam us with names like ultra-Orthodox fanatics, right? And they're embarrassed by us, mm -hmm. right? And when fanatics who act, who, I shouldn't say that, when people actually follow Islam and take it to, and, and follow it, they slam them and they call them, uh, ext well, not extremists, um, radicals. Radical, yeah. radical yeah. Islam, yeah. right? They yeah. call them radical Islam. I don't think there's a radical Islam. What I think there is, is there's two types of people in Islam, just like there's two types of Jews. 
There are those who follow it mm -hmm. in its authenticity, right? And those who like water it down, yeah. right? And you know, basically are secular, are motivated by secular ideas, and as convenience, whatever they you know they they they, they you know have some form, some perverted form of the religion. Mm -hmm. I actually believe the more and more I learn about Islam is it patterns Christianity and Judaism, all three of us have those who actually believe it and follow it, you know, as it is meant to be followed, and those who just call themselves that and like follow some sort of country club religion. Mm -hmm. And this is my absolute belief, and I absolutely believe the people that are responsible for 9-11 the people who took over control of Iran, the, yeah. p the people in charge of, who were in charge of Afghanistan, yeah. wherever you see Sharia law, those are the actual, that's actual Islam being played yeah. out. Jews, we're not strangers to this. Yeah. We've lived in Muslim countries for 1,200 years. Yeah. This is not new to us. <laughs> it wasn't all lollipops and blowjobs. No, jobs. this is exactly how Islam is. What people in America see is perhaps a watered down, a little bit of a watered down version here. Yeah. And they, liberals, go, okay, you know, we see that there's some people who aren't so, you know, wild about it all. And we're going to embrace them and we're going to say, oh, that, and they're going to pretend or whatever they want to, that everything is like that. And that those who aren't like that are radicals. Mm -hmm. I say you got the wrong approach about Islam. They say, you know, Islam's a peaceful country. No, it's not. Look at the countries that follow it. Yeah. Look at Iran. You have a problem with Iran, right? Look at Afghanistan. Look what they did to the women there. You know, I'm not saying Islam is bad, but these people are saying that the, play, the people who follow Islam are bad. So then how can you criticize people who burn the book when you're doing the same thing? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest hypocrisy that's out there right now. Do you think Islam is under attack in America today? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> I hope it should be. I hear, You know what? I saw this thing on the internet. <laughs> it was put out by a guy in Israel. Oh, I think I, showed it, I shared it with you. Yeah. A guy in the state of Israel put out something I thought was brilliant. He said, you can never win a war until you realize who your enemy is. Yeah. Until you realize that your enemy is attacking you, you're never going to win. Right. Yeah, it's about time people wake up and they understand that there's people that, that follow Islam and they want to kill us. Think we just hug them more that they'd be less... Oh yeah, let's do the liberal thing and let's all smoke a people's pipe with them and maybe they'll all be nice to us. You know, that is such stupid. You know where this comes from? It's the schoolyard bully, right? And and the and the and the scared little kids on the on the on the schoolyard, they always like pander to the bully, and they give in to the bully, and they want to kiss the bully's ass, and they really think that appeasing the bully will make it make everything better, you know. And it doesn't work that way. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. Jews have no excuse. Jews have no excuse to pander and have try to appease an enemy because we have learned recently. This isn't this isn't ancient history. Recently, in modern day history, appeasement did not work with Nazi Germany. Would you tell them about that? Would you tell them about that? <laughs> the appeasement did not work with Nazi Germany. Thank you. It did not work with Nazi Germany. It does not work for the state of Israel. They just keep giving back lands for the last 20, yeah. uh, 30, 35 years. They've been giving back lands. Uh, 16, is it 16,000 Jews have been killed? In, in the state of Israel since the time that they've been starting to give back lands. Yeah. It does not work. It yeah. does not bring safety to Jews to um, give back land, to, give back to, land, land, to appease the enemy, uh, to, to, to hug and embrace your enemy. It does not work. When somebody is intent on killing you, there's no such thing as peace talks. Yeah. It does not work. I don't understand how any Jew, a Jew, mm -hmm. can fall for that. I give, I give, I give a little room for people who grew up Christian. Right. They don't have our background. They don't have our history. Yeah. They don't have the immediacy. They don't have family members mm -hmm. who were 
who were killed by Nazis necessarily, mm -hmm. right? 